Today I'm just going to do a short little haul because I didn't get very many items in in the past couple of weeks. I'm still waiting on stuff, but you know how it is if you ever uh, shop from Wish or AliExpress, it takes a while to get to you. And uh, plus I've, this is, I'm just going to tell you, I've had some health scares going on. And so this is a little chit chat part of the video. I thought I was having a heart attack and uh, it scared the bejesus out of me. I was uh, doing nothing strenuous. I was walking around in my house. I went to go get some dog food for my dogs to eat to put in their dish and as I bent down and stood up I felt a sensation in the bottom of my lip and in my jaw that was a stinging tingling feeling. And then I started having pain going down through my throat and into my chest and into my back. Well, needless to say, that scared me to death because I have had symptoms before of I thought I was having a heart attack and come to find out it was just a tightness in the chest. But I have had some things wrong with my heart years ago and so anything like that scares me to death. And I've always heard that women's uh, symptoms are a lot different than what they are for men. And so I called my husband. Well, first, I have nitro. I keep that on hand all the time. So I took a nitro pill. Then I took a baby aspirin just to be on the safe side. And I called my husband. Well, by the time he got here to take me to the hospital, I was starting to feel better. But I still didn't know, and I didn't know if it was, you know, going to come back on me. So he decided to go ahead and take me to the hospital. And they said at the hospital that all my symptoms were the symptoms of a woman having a heart attack. But it didn't show I was having one by the EKG they run. And so they wanted to keep me overnight for observation. Well, during this time, I was sick. I had, a, I thought I had a head cold or upper respiratory infection or something. I didn't know what it was. So, I told them that I was sick and I was coughing my head off while I was there. Well, they didn't pay any attention to the sickness. They were more concerned about uh, having a heart trouble. So, they said, we're going to admit you, keep you for observation and see how it does. Well, and they was going to draw blood from me. Well, they draw blood so ever so, I think it was six hours that they came in and draw blood. And something about the enzymes in the blood can show if you're having a heart attack or have had a heart attack. So they had put an IV in my left arm, so right in the bend of the left arm. So that left it to where they couldn't uh, put IV, I mean, uh, draw blood from that side or I didn't think they could. And so on the right side, they came and they draw blood on me. And I was getting sicker by the minute while I was there. And my heart wasn't bothering me at the time, but I was feeling really sick. And of course, they came in and did the vitals on me. And uh, one time that the nurse came in and took my vitals, I was 102.4. So then they thought I might have the flu, so they did a uh, flu test, and it came back negative. And then I had a doctor come in, and they told me that what I had was a severe case of bronchitis. And that they also had put a heart monitor on me the whole time I was in there. Well, I stayed in there for three days, and on the third day... Uh, they decided to release me. They didn't think it was a heart attack, which they had taken me down to. Uh, they'd done an echocardiogram on me. They did the blood test. They did an EKG, and uh, they were going to do a nuclear stress test, which I haven't had a nuclear stress test since 2014, so it's been a while. And that can tell you more or less if you've got any blockages or anything in your heart. And they said I'd just have to make an appointment with my regular heart doctor and have that test done, which I am going to have that test done. I've already went and seen my regular doctor, and 
uh, he, they've got me an appointment for back or for in May to have that nuclear stress test done. But anyway, I was so sick from that bronchitis. I coughed and coughed and coughed. I couldn't hardly talk. It was just miserable. I've not had bronchitis since I was a child, and this was awful. So anyway, uh, so far, all my signs and symptoms shows that I did not have a heart attack. It could have been stress-related. It could have been my bronchitis-related. We don't know, and no one mentioned anything about having a stroke, which I'm still puzzled about that because of the way I felt in the bottom of my jaw. But with women, it is so hard to diagnose us that when we do have these symptoms, we need to go to the doctor just to be on the safe side. Because even though I felt better, I felt like I better go. Because if I'm in a hospital and I do have a heart attack, they'll know how to take care of me. I couldn't do that at home. But I do think that the nitro pill and the baby aspirin did help. I think that's what stopped it, whatever it was. And so I'm doing okay. I've not had any more pains in my chest since I've been home. And that was two weeks ago. So I'm doing better. And uh, so I was going to try to put up a haul last week, but didn't feel too good. So uh, the bronchitis is finally gone. I finally quit coughing my head off. And I hear that it's going around pretty bad. So, you know, you get during the time of flu season, you also get other stuff. But anyway, I'm going to get into this haul. And uh, thank you for listening for for my uh, vlog or part vlog telling you about what happened to me in the hospital. Oh, and they had taken so much blood out of my arm, I looked like... I was a junkie. I had, in just this one arm, I had seven or eight needle pokes where they had drawn blood off of me. I really did feel like a pin cushion. So, you know, you got to think about that when you go in the hospital, you know, you go to the hospital, you'll have a lot of tests run on you, but I'd rather have them run on me and find out it's nothing than to find out I've got something serious wrong. So, I'm going to shut up now, and then we're going to get to my haul, because I only have, I think it's five packages, and I already opened a few of them, because I'm still waiting. Still always waiting for Wish to send my stuff to me. So, here we go. We're going to get into my haul. And, uh, I don't have any idea what this is, so we're going to find out. What is that? Oh, it's seeds. I don't remember ordering these seeds. See, it's seeds for a... It's called 100 Pieces New Rare Impressive Purple Pompeii or Pompous Grass. Bonsai Oriental Home Garden. And they send you this little bitty picture with it to show you what it is. I don't know if I'll be trying to plant that or not, but I don't think I ordered that. I think that was a free gift from Wish for some reason. Probably because I order from them all the time. <laughs> it says on here, on these seeds, on the package, it says nail decoration. Am I supposed to glue seeds to my nails? That's kind of funny. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is really funny. <laughs> and that's all of that. This one I got into because I had no idea. I could not remember what it was I had gotten. And uh, I see all these women wearing these hair pieces to do buns on top of their head. And, you know, you don't have to curl it or anything. So I thought I would buy one and see. And I think... I'm almost sure I got the wrong color because I am turning white in case you haven't noticed. 
I need to do something with my hair. I want to get it cut and I want to get it uh, restyled, but I don't know if I will. But this color doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't really look like my hair color. But you're supposed to be able to, I bought one of these once before and it was a mess and it was ugly. This feels better than the other one I had got. And you can see it's all fluffy. I don't know how it would look if I put my hair up in a bun and uh, put it on there. But I'll have to give that a try and see how it works. See the colors in it? And it's got a natural wave to it. So when you wrap your hair up into a bun, you can just stick this on top of it. And then you don't have to worry about having curls in your hair because it gives you curls which this is kind of kind of pretty but I just don't know see I don't know if it's going to match my hair or it might match my roots I don't know but we'll just have to see so that's that one what is this this one says rhinestone beads oh I seen a deal on uh, wished where you could get it was supposed to be a hundred beads and uh, I thought it would be pretty to make a bracelet with. But I didn't realize how small those hundred beads are. See this package? That's all there is. They're little tiny things. In the picture on Wish, they look like they were huge beads. You know, like what you would see on a bracelet or a necklace. But these are not huge. These are small, tiny. They got color on the edges of them. But I'm going to have to find some tiny thread to go through that. Can you see them? They're pretty. But if that's a hundred, I don't know. I haven't counted them. But... It might be a hundred. It looks more like 50, but I don't know. But that's a little tiny things. I The picture uh, that you got to really watch those ads in Wish. Because on the picture, they look twice this size. They did not look this small. So, beware of that when you order beads from Wish. Or from uh, AliExpress, too, because the pictures are deceiving on a lot of things. So that's that. Was there anything else in here? No. Now, what is this? What does it say? It says one piece. Doesn't say what it is that I can tell. One piece, huh? Not one to cut. Oh. It's a, uh, those little fine li wired lights that you can put in jars and stuff for crafting. That's what that is. I like to do crafting and I like to put these little wires in them. I wonder if it's got a battery in it. I don't see a battery. But you never know. Let me turn it on and see. No. I bet I have to buy a battery for it. That's the bad thing about getting stuff from Wish. You have to buy batteries. I don't see a battery in there you know so I'll have to put my own battery in there but anyway won't be able to see if it works today because I've got to get one of those flat batteries but that's what it looks like you can see the little bubbles I think it's supposed to be multicolored too if that's the one that I ordered I had made a jar with the lights in it and hung it out on my porch and uh, it was very pretty well, we got a big rainstorm, and for some reason, water got, or I don't know how it did, but water. 
anyway, that's my haul for today. If I get any more things in, I'll uh, be putting up another video. And if you like my little chit chat that I did, you know, telling you my troubles or whatever, uh, I'll do it again if someone wants to hear anything that I got to say. Uh, I'm by myself most of the time. My husband works during the day. And I was babysitting my granddaughter, but she's getting too big to be babysitted, she thinks. She's only four years old, but when I say I'm babysitting her, she says, I'm not a baby, Nana. I said, I know, you're a big girl. So I have to say, I, I'm a big girl watching. I'm not babysitting. <laughs> That's what she tells me anyway. So uh, thanks for watching. If you like my video, like and subscribe. I appreciate all the subscriptions that I can get. And uh, hopefully I'll be getting some more merchandise in and do another haul for you. And so I hope y'all have a great day. Uh, have fun. Enjoy your day. And uh, I'll see you back with my next haul or my next vlog, whatever. Love you, people. Bye.